What's up guys and gals, it is I once again, MrGamer990 and today guys and gals I wanna talk about and review Suzuki Yu's Okayusu Keiji, Nagoshi Toshihiro, Yoshimoto Masahiro and Yotsuji Tako's 1999 released action adventure game Shenmue, Shenmue 1, the first chapter in a trilogy of games yours truly loves so much and the third game, I'm sure I will love it, I've not played, but I will in due time, but the first two games in the Shenmue Trilogy, a three-part saga and tale of Hazuki Ryo is a video game series I fucking love so much because this game in particular was part of my childhood leading into my adolescent years, it was, this game is so revolutionary for its time, especially in regards to the quick time events, the quick time gameplay, which would become a staple of the Shenmue trilogy and the company as a whole, but also for Telltale games and Quantic Dreams. All of that started with this game right here and God of War. Before that trilogy, that franchise became what it was because of the quick time events. It was all in this game right here. Shenmue, Shenmue 1, 2, and 3. Shenmue is such an awesome game, an awesome game franchise I love so much. And this tale, this three-part tale of Hazuki Ryo centers on his quest for revenge against the man known as Londi. Londi, guys and gals, is part of the Chiyo Men, an underground organization, criminal organization, and this man is part of four men or rather three men and one woman in the Chiyo men four leaders of the Chiyo men but Londi is considered to be the strongest of all four of them and that is so bad for Hazuki Ryu especially if he intends to face him and get revenge against him exact his revenge in the name of his beloved father Iwao Hazuki or Hazuki Iwao who knew that Londi was coming to the Hazuki residence to kill him in the name of his father who was Sun Ming Zhao. Whoever he is, Ryo does not know but Hazuki Iwao does know who he was, Londi's father and Londi's real name is Long Sun Zhao, the son of Sun Ming Zhao and so this right here, this murder on Hazuki Iwao was an act of vengeance on Londi's part. Part, Long Soon Zhao's part, but also a mission to get one of two mirrors, two mirrors which legend has said would unlock a power, a power to a creature of some sorts, and so Londi wants the first of two mirrors in order to unlock this power, but Hazuki Ryo will intend to stop him and get his revenge, and the cycle of vengeance will continue. It began with Londi exacting his revenge for his father, Sun Ming Zhao, and now that vengeance, that cycle, will continue with Hazuki Ryo wanting to avenge his father, and round and round we go in this cycle of vengeance between Londi and Hazuki Ryo. Hazuki Ryo will find Londi if it kills him, and no matter what hardships or pain he may suffer and endure, Hazuki Hazuki Ryo will survive through in the name of vengeance, in the name of his beloved father, Iwao Hazuki, Hazuki Iwao, and that in the end will either cost him his humanity and purity, or it will lead him down a path of redemption and not so much revenge, and a path of his growth and becoming the man he can become, just as his beloved father, Hazuki Iwao, wanted him to be a strong man who does not succumb to and fall into darkness and become just like Lundi. That path of darkness, the cycle of hatred and vengeance, and vengeance is what Hazuki Ryo wants, but will he let it consume him? Hatred and vengeance, that is our journey as much as it is for him his journey. Hazuki Ryo's in this three-part chapter, this three-part tale and song 
saga of Hazuki Ryo, his growth, his coming of age, in this tale, a three-part tale, which begins with Shenmue 1 up to Shenmue 2 and 3, both of which I will review in due time, but this game, my fucking god, playing this game after so many years was so fucking good. I was like 11 years old when playing this game for the first time, 10 or 11, this game had a huge impact in my life as a young boy becoming a young adult and this game Shenmue 1 we the players grew up with Hazuki Ryo in his journey to achieve or exact revenge against Landi the man who killed his beloved father Hazuki Iwao and we the players have essentially grown up with Hazuki Ryo and that in itself is an honor and privilege especially for yours truly as a man, a man who was once a punk ass kid who eventually became a strong man, a strong man who believed in himself and no one else just as Hazuki Ryo learns to be himself and learns to find his courage, his resolve and how he does it in this game just like in Shenmue 2 and supposedly 3 is for you guys and gals to find out for yourselves and experience the world of Yokso Japan Hong Kong, China in Shenmue 2 and of course in Shenmue 3 Guiling the setting of that game and that tale the third chapter of that tale the third chapter of the Shenmue saga and that game my review on it will come in due time but this game was so friggin good and to experience the world through the point of view of Hazuki Ryo was so awesome and so satisfying as we we talk with and interact with the people of Yokso Japan in three districts, three districts and one harbor and these people among them are close acquaintances and friends of Hozuki Ryo, classmates because Hozuki Ryo is a high school student in 1986, the setting and year of this game in Yokso Japan 1986 and Ryo Hazuki or Hazuki Ryo has many close friends and acquaintances who we can ask information from regarding Lundi and this gang in the game who are known as the Mad Angels who do have a connection with Lundi and the Chiyo men but what happens in this game is for you guys and gals to find out but talking with these people including the close friends and acquaintances of Hosu Ryo, especially people like Tom, Fukusan, Naomi, but Naomi shares a very special bond with Ryo Hazuki or Hazuki Ryo and I will go into further detail about their relationship and potential or rather tragic love story which is one-sided but that will come in a different video in due time guys and gals in due time but the the other people includes Inosan, Guizong, Guizong who shares a very complex and competitive rivalry with Hozuki Ryo, Hozuki Ryo and Guizong butt heads with each other especially during the second and third act of this tale before eventually becoming comrades and friends, quote unquote friends, pseudo friends but Guizong is an awesome character regardless and he is the son of of Master Chen, Master Chen who's the final character yours truly mentions and Master Chen is an awesome character like his son Guizong, the wise and old but thoughtful and kind old man and master of martial arts and the action and martial arts gameplay in this game is so fucking awesome, so good and so kickass long before games like Sleeping Dogs or other games of this kind like Yakuza the Yakuza series this game was the one game which brought martial arts gameplay into the mainstream but this game was not a financial success but this game did become a huge critical success especially in how influential it was to other games but this game just like Sleeping Dogs and the Yakuza series is so awesome and so kick-ass in the action department
meant to experience as a young student in martial arts, a young student who does learn and evolve both as a person and as a martial arts master. And this game combines both the action gameplay and quick time events so beautifully it does. And this game, what more can I say about it aside from the action, direction, story, characters, performances, and the Japanese and English voice actors, all of them do such great jobs, but my personal favorite is the Japanese dubs, and this game has so many other great qualities in it. It was a huge landmark in video games, and this game to this day ranks among my all-time favorites alongside Shenmue 2, but that game and Shenmue 3, my reviews on them, that is, will come in due time, they will, but I do recommend you guys and gals play Shenmue 1, the first chapter in the Shenmue saga, please do, and thank you guys and gals for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish, and do check out my other channel where I talk about movies, television programs, and anime series, etc. Until next time, peace out, take care, adios amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.